I was digging through the records and a highly classified and extremely sensitive document that outlined how guineas are attracted to electricity. So I've gone to the vault and dug out an old prototype weapon I invented years ago. It's my peak laser attack shock meridian amplifier. This bad boy delivers 10 million volts of flocked feathered foe fighting power. Results should be devastatingly catastrophic for those little fuckers. I will report back my result. Today, I want to warn you, the celebration of thanks that we all know and love happened last week. But did you know it has a sinister past? It started out innocent enough, just a good old multicultural cookout. Everyone was eating, drinking, and being merry. Everyone besides those Indian fellas that were always complaining, they were worse than 10X wives with the complaining about how cold it was. When the pilgrims finally got tired of their shit, they gave them some blankets, hoping it would shut them up so they could eat in peace. But if not one thing, it's another. A little while after they got the blankets, they started coughing and hacking all over the food until everyone lost their appetite. I don't know whatever happened to them. The logbooks I've just read said they went to bed and no one ever heard from them again. But that's besides the point. I want to talk to you about a campaign the US government launched in the 1940s and it's still going strong today. It all revolves around a little drug they developed as a mind control aid. The drug is called tryptophan. tryptophan. That's why we all eat turkey on Thanksgiving. They figured out a way to genetically modify all turkeys that are being produced in America today. Once they figured out how to do that, they then set out on a multi-decade confidence scheme that has tricked us all into poison ourselves all on the same day. And why do you think we're all supposed to eat turkey sandwiches all week long? The same reason that you can get an 80 inch TV at Walmart the next day for $11 while supplies last. This is their time to shine. They want us either completely drugged or passed out on the couch in Costco sweatpants. Or they want us stomping each other's faces in trying to save a buck on shit that we didn't know we wanted until they told us we couldn't be happy unless we had it all. It's all so we don't find out what they're doing. Now, I know that this transmission is being received after Thanksgiving. And we all ate the turkey. That's okay. That's just fine. We all have weaknesses. And I, for one, cannot pass up a sweet taste and feeling of a turkey neck when I shove it in my mouth. But, but, but do not eat any turkey sandwiches. The mixture of the tryptophan from the turkey and the carbs of the bread could cause results you were not prepared for. And I'm not just talking about the seven per day trips to the bathroom that tends to happen. I'm talking about the fact they will pass new draconian laws while we are checked out. They do it every year. Don't believe me? Take a look what Obama signed into law on the New Year's Eve of 2011. This doesn't end with turkey. Don't get me started about the unknown effects of candy canes. We need to quit letting the government manipulate us into fighting with each other and or accidentally shitting in our Kirkland joggers because we misjudged a fart. Until then, stay vigilant, stay prepared, and if it feels sketchy, don't risk it. Go to the head before you start pushing. Panic Prepper 1, out! What were we? What are we talking about here? Blankets. Smallpox blankets. Yeah. I think that's a different time though.